Welcome to this edition of the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Megan from the Office of Public and Congressional Affairs. Even in the face of drawdowns and budget challenges, the Army is steadfast in its pursuit of new and better ways to improve the force. The Army calls it innovation. And given the challenges faced in recent wars and the uncertainty of future armed conflicts, innovation in the Army has never been more important. Joseph Gibbons has the story. Since the Army's creation over 240 years ago, innovation has been there. From the first steel helmets in 1917 to the interceptor body armor with ballistic plates of today, innovation has allowed the Army the unfair advantage we need to be the best. To help funnel innovative ideas, the Army, led by the U.S. Army Materiel Command, created the Major General Harold J. Green Award for Innovation. The award was named in honor of the late Major General Green, who served in several leadership positions in Army research, science, and technology fields before he was killed in Afghanistan in August of 2014. The program seeks to recognize the technological contributions of Army soldiers and civilians that greatly enhance Army readiness and soldier performance. Even if all the ideas don't work, come up with these ideas and test them and see if there's value in them and, and doing things innovatively. So, well, you know, we all grow up and we're trained to do things in certain ways, and generally it's pretty good, but if we could be a little bit more efficient and more effective, that to me is innovation. The annual award program is led by AMC Chief Technology Officer Patrick O'Neill and is given in three categories, group, individual military, and individual civilian. The winners of the 2015 awards include a life-saving tourniquet, an innovative app, and a combat shirt that offers ballistic protection. If you look at all three of them, they're, they're a representation of the cross-section of we the Army. You know, there, there are things out there that are good ideas people came up with, whether they're active duty Army or, or civilians, they come up with good ideas and we put them into practice. And, and these three winners are examples of things that really did work by thinking outside the box and how we could do something differently. Six members from the U.S. Army Institute of Surgical Research at Joint Base San Antonio, Fort Sam Houston, Texas, won the group category with the creation of the SAM Junctional Tourniquet, which is designed to control bleeding where typical tourniquets would not be effective, such as in patients with blast injuries or high-level amputations, and to help stabilize pelvic fractures. The individual civilian category was given to Army Engineer Robert Delilah at the U.S. Army Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center in Natick, Massachusetts for his game-changing ballistic combat shirt. It's a lightweight, integrated armored shirt that provides protection on the upper back, upper chest, and neck, while completely covering the arms with ballistic protective sleeves. It's lighter and it protects them more, so they're more active, they can be more flexible, they can do more things in their line of duty and be more protective. And last but not least is the individual military category which was won by Captain Lawrence Collins for the Miles Laser Tag Utility app he developed while stationed at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Mississippi Valley Division. I really just think that it took a soldier in the struggle I would say to think I could do that. That would make my job easier because they're the ones doing the work and I think that there's a lot to be said about what they can contribute. MILES stands for Multiple Integrated Laser Engagement System, and it's a training system used to provide soldiers with a realistic battlefield environment. Without being tasked, in his spare time and with no formal training, Captain Collins took his seven years of programming experience and developed a downloadable Android app that allows users to configure, test, troubleshoot, and perform services on MILES equipment. We use them for making sure our equipment is good to go, just like we make sure our Humvees are good to go, just like we make sure our weapon systems are good to go. Miles is another dimension in that game that you have to play. And if you can't fix it yourself, then you're out of the fight until a professional can fix it. The app gives users access to 75 weapon and administrative commands, allows referees to set up laser tag games to meet certain scenario requirements, provides users the ability to test what damage a particular weapon system might have on a player or vehicle, and allows the individual to troubleshoot his laser tag equipment. As you use that training device out there, in the past when something went wrong, you had to kind of shut down the exercise, take the device back in and get it fixed, and then restart the exercise. So it's not just you suffering, it's, it's, uh, it's taking up the time of many, many people that were involved in this and not being able to keep it going. People think inventions are, you know, something revolutionary, but they don't, doesn't have to be, you know, a magic bullet that goes around corners or, you know, dissolves if a friendly target walks in the way or something like that. 
Uh, it's, it's really just small steps in the right direction until we you know, become better collectively. The app size is under two megabytes and can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. To me, it's all about the soldier, and this is a great example of taking care of the soldier. To be nominated for one of the Innovation Award categories, you simply need to go to AMC's website. Under the Programs tab, click Innovation Award and submit your ideas through the email address provided. Think about anything you did innovatively back there, whether it was, a, it was an invention in a lab, it was a soldier out in the field doing something different in a, in a vehicle or with a piece of equipment or how we approach something doctrinally or, or, or facilities-wise or equipment-wise. It was the 18th chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff retired General Martin Dempsey, who said, there are no crystal balls that can predict the demands of future armed conflict. That is why I believe our ability to learn and adapt rapidly is an institutional imperative. Soldiers, as well as Department of the Army civilians, have a lot of innovative ideas that can help save the Army money and improve readiness. And AMC is ready to hear them. From all of us at Army Material Command Public Affairs, thanks for watching.